What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Log On Games podcast for Friday, February the 10th. On this episode, we are going to be uh, reviewing the Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday as time of recording this, um, and then some tidbits that came out after the fact. Um, also, talking a little bit about the big game that came out this week, Hogwarts Legacy. Other than that, I don't know. Could be we could talk about anything, you know what I mean? NBA trade deadline was today. All sorts of things happen, you know. Who knows know. what will we'll go down? Uh, with me today, you can find him at X User 8X on the new PC with the new right. camera. We have mm-hmm. Matthew with us on the podcast. Man, that thing is loud. I think yes. it's also kicking bef- before we start. We need to point out that the Queen, Rebecca Black, uh, came out with her album today. So everybody go download <laughs> it. <laughs> tweet at her and say, idea? congrats on the album. Can't wait to hear you talk about it at the log- on the Logon Games podcast. Have you listened to it at all? Yes, I have. Of course. I have. C- sure. Could not. Couldn't be like, I mean, I mean, today could have been the day where she's like, I want to come on the Logon Games podcast and talk about the new album. I mean, I'm going to be Might honest. I'm like, not going to listen to it. But I'm going to be like, can you sing Friday? (laughs) Maybe it's on the new album. You'll never know. I'm pretty sure it's not. Every album she comes out with should have it on there. I agree. Should be the only song in every album. (laughs) She does have a remix version of it that she does live. Really? She has to. It's too, it's made her too much money. Um, Matthew, what you been up to? What you been playing? Playing a little Hogwarts. I haven't played as much of it as I wanted uh, to just because life has been a little, little hectic here recently. Yep. Um, hopefully uh, some of you that are listening to our voices and seeing our faces today joined us yesterday for the live stream. If you didn't, uh, make sure you're uh, subscribed to the YouTube and all that kind of stuff so you can. But doing the live stream uh, with my new PC, I... Um, I, I did the streaming from my side of things and it was, yep. it was a bit of a chore to get it set up. And so yeah. there was hours of doing setting ups that I would have rather have been playing something, but also I think we can do this for next time for sure. Just to try it out and see how it goes. But if you pay for like the discord nitro, whatever it's called, you get like a better output for stuff. Like you get higher quality things. Gotcha. So maybe next time we'll do that. And we'll see how it goes and looks. We can check it out. I think it ended up actually being pretty decent. Uh, it wasn't like bad quality or anything of that nature. Um, just need to. You there know. is one thing about it though that I haven't quite figured out yet, which is like if you're subscribed to us on youtube.com backslash at logon games, when you go to your like subscriptions or whatever on your phone or in your computer, wherever it is mm-hmm. you watch YouTube at. Uh, it will, like, our live stream would have, like, the video, even after the fact, would pop up and stuff like that. But, like, when I go into our YouTube channel, I click on our YouTube channel, or I go to YouTube Studio, it's, like, two separate things. Like, here are your videos, and then there you have to hit the live tab. And I really wish it was just, like, you part do, of the videos. But that's generally after the fact. Yeah. So, I still just wish um, it was part of the videos. Like, if I, I did YouTube search from my personal YouTube, just log on games, and... Our live stream is the first thing that popped up today. Yeah. Um, I also think maybe like doing it on Twitch and then mm-hmm. just getting the Twitch VOD and just uploading that to YouTube after the fact what might be something. No, we'll sure. figure it out. Sure. Uh, we, we got it completely in- working at about six minutes before the Nintendo Direct started. So we were we were done with changing things at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Uh, we want to welcome everybody to the Log On Games podcast. This is a weekly show in which our hosts discuss a variety of gaming news topics for new games, big announcements, events, and more. New episodes upload every Friday or wherever you want to listen to us and wherever you want to watch us, as long as where you want to watch us is youtube.com backslash at Log On Games. Again, our Nint- Nintendo Direct reactions are up. We had myself, we had Andrew, 
We had Matthew, who was we were streaming it live from the new PC. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ivy was on there as well, which if you have mm-hmm. seen the new logo, if you have seen the new thumbnails, that's all him. So Yeah, he's he's good at that that kind of stiffs. And more to come as well. Yeah. Um it's, yeah. Okay. If you want to follow us, you can do so at Logon Games on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh you can find our link tree and any of those any of our social sites, and you can find our YouTube channel or Discord or Twitch or whatever it is you want to find. So follow us on all those things. I got a text from Marty today that said Ooh. I will read it. Live and in person. He says, yo, just realized I wasn't subscribed to the YouTube channel, LOL. I fixed that. But but as he said, I fixed that, but want to say really nice thumbnails. They look fantastic. Beautiful. There you go. Beautiful. Marty in the flesh. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of flesh. He has a lot of flesh. He's a big man. That's true. He has maybe, more maybe flesh I'll... than most people do. Yeah, maybe I'll do some, uh, since, you know, we have so many cool people that Twitch stream, maybe I'll do some Twitch stream. And now that I have, you know, Cameron, PC and whatnots, I yeah. can throw it on our, our Log On Games channel. Maybe you maybe can. Maybe i just stream oh. straight from there. Maybe you can, you'll stream, you can fight Marty on stream. Probably so, yeah. yeah. Get on WWE, create both of you, both of you and then fight to death. Actually, I've been playing a little bit of WWE the last couple of weeks, just here and there. It's like my nightly before I go to bed thing, because it's a free game. It's on the catalog now, WWE uh, 2K22, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. And I have yet to play one wrestling match. I just play my GM mode and just schedule and <laughs> do his thing. Um, this is a little off topic, but not really. There's a show mm-hmm. on Netflix called Physical 100. Have you seen this show? No, or seen the thumbnail or anything. Uh uh-uh. uh It's it's a South Korean show where they just literally take the most physically gifted people they can find in South Korea, and it's like a battle royale. They pick, there's a hundred of them, <laughs> and they do all these competitions. And so, like the first one was like, if you've ever been to Fear Factor at Universal Studios Orlando, you'll be very familiar. Uh, the first one is just like hanging on the bar, how long you can hang or whatever, mm-hmm. and. That was to, that was like the first two episodes, basically. Which the record, I think the last guy was Mountain Climber. He's the one that won, obviously. He hung on for like 18 minutes, something ridiculous. Sure. Um, but then crazy. the second one was like they had to partner up and basically fight each other. But they're like, there's this ball, and whoever's holding the ball when the time runs out wins. But they don't ever like do that. They grab the ball and they throw it and they just fight each other. Because I guess it's just part of the show. <laughs> but when I tell you, there's, I mean, it's something. It's something. We saw it was the front page of Netflix. We started watching it English dubbed. And I feel okay. like they paid $3 to get the people to do the English dubs. And I was like, I can't handle this anymore. It's like right. 12-year-old kids, it sounded like, wrote it. I'm pulling up Netflix but on my phone so I can see this thing. It's fun time. I feel, I feel like Marty should be on it. I'm just going to say that. It's the first thing when I open Netflix. Yeah. There's one white guy on it, and he's a South Korean baseball player. He shouldn't be there. I just throw that out there now. He should not be there. Do you know who it is? No, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I digress. Let's get into the nitty the gritty. Queue. Nintendo Direct happened as on Wednesday at 5 o'clock Eastern time here for us. Mm-hmm. And so I have pulled up... Um, everything that was announced during the Nintendo Direct. I'm not going to go through every single thing, but we can kind of scroll down Mm -hmm. and see what we want. The the biggest news being Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, coming out May, whatever it was. 12th, I think. I believe it's 12th. Is is this stuff in order? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, May the 12th, 2023. It is up for pre-order. Some news that came out that was rumored before, a couple of days before, but it's confirmed now. $70 for this yes. game. Yeah. Um, actually had a, uh, Ivy and I talked about that this morning a little bit. Um, it's so funny to me because you look on Twitter and, and all of the comments underneath 
that announcement of it being $70 or like, well, I was thinking about getting it and now I'm not going to get it. And I'm like, that's bull crap. Yeah. There's nobody that was going to buy it at 60 bucks. I guess not nobody. There's very few people that would buy it at 60 bucks. They're like, mm, I can't do 70 though. Yeah. And the, the main argument is the switch isn't as powerful as the other system. So why does it cost more money to make it? I think it's yeah. a really bad argument because it's not that it costs more money to make it because of more powerful stuff. It's that when I was five years old, games were 50 bucks brand new. Just due to inflation, they should be like a hundred bucks at now, <laughs> but they're not. Yeah, true. And so like, I wish it was still $60 too. Of course, I don't want to pay more money, but it's, it's not like it makes sense. I'm not upset at that. I'm not like, I don't think it's a poor move. And if there was ever a game that they should start doing this with, this would be the one because then the next game is just, it's, it's fine. You know? Yeah. Um, people are going to buy this one. I, I mean, I agree. I'm just a little shocked to be honest with you. Cause like there wasn't any rumors or anything leading up to this decision. And this was the first game and it's just like, bam, 70 bucks. And I'm like, they're doing it. Everybody's doing it now. Uh, I'm I'm shocked that it wasn't done before now, though. I, you're right. There were no rumors or anything, but I'm I'm a little surprised. Uh, yeah, by the way, you wearing glasses the last couple of days that have anything to do with Hogwarts coming out? You know? It, trying, it to look, not, trying, trying to trying to look all, so, all Hogwarts-y in with your glasses? I got these glasses before Christmas, but the prescription was wrong, so I just sent them back, and then they fixed them. Um, and then I ordered contacts. Mm-hmm. and when you order I usually order from like a different site like every time mm-hmm. because I'm just wherever's cheapest for the, for, for the best deal yep cheapest box I can find and there's usually like most of these if you don't know about this if you're not a contact person you'll be like oh your first order is 50% off or whatever mm-hmm. and like almost every contact website does something like that yep so I'm just kind of cycling through, and then the one I did this time, they're like, we need to confirm your prescription, mm-hmm. so send us your doctor's details, whatever. Sure. I did that, and I, for like the last three weeks, I've just gotten emails that were like, we can't confirm your prescription, and then I'll get on and chat with them, and they'll be like, is it in the system? We'll let you know. And then it's just been a thing of that. So I have so one pair, the pair that I have it, had in, well, it was about time. So oh, I yeah, like, I, I get that. I need these things to come in. So I put them up, or I put them in a case, <clears throat> put these glasses on so this is probably what it's going to be for quite some time so but at least i got good glasses now yeah i'm just before. saying they this look a like, little they look a little they Hogwarts-y are Hogwarts-y. i'm just saying I took my wife and we went to walmart to pick out frames before christmas because i knew i was going to get like a good pair yeah and it wasn't uh we, the, what we wanted wasn't this circular but you know it's what we got it's what we got fair enough uh but now my Hogwarts character has glasses, so it fits. There you go. Mine does not. Even though I do need to get a pair of glasses. <laughs> yeah. So not in the game. Um, no. Okay. Sorry. So yeah. interrupt. I guess no. I jumped the gun on the Hogwarts talk. It's all good. Um where let's we'll start from the beginning, I guess, of this thing. Sure. Uh, yeah, for, yeah. It started out with Pikmin four. Yes. So congratulations. Which I thought was a Pikmin very people. good trailer. Yeah, that was the it's the it, it did the better the best job of any Pikmin trailer ever at making me interested. I have never been interested in Pikmin ever for my life. I have no idea how they sell. I have no idea about anything. So I'm not the person to talk about this. But okay. Pikmin enough. 4 comes out July 21st, 2023. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to all you Pikmin fans. Both of them. Not to be confused with Pikmin, which is how my dad says Pokemon. That's true. <laughs> Um, Xenoblade stuff. Still, always we, we more had, Xenoblade every time. Yeah. Samba de Amigo, Party Central. That was a surprise a little bit. No maracas included, but the, you get the lady. You get the lady with it, yep. Um, Fashion Dreamer. If you've ever wanted to be a part of a fashion thing, there, now you got it. Um... Dead Cells Return to Castlevania DLC coming March 6th. Tron Identity from Bissell Games coming to Switch in April. 
Phantom Detective. A lot of a lot of games like this, like Phantom Detective, Ghost Trick game, yeah, there really was. Deca Police, like very anime mystery type games. A lot of those this time around. Mm-hmm. Um, Splatoon three expansion passes. One that came out yesterday, and then one that is coming uh later. I don't think we got a date. Just at some point. Um, so Mickey Mouse, uh, what was it? Illusion Island Illusion game. Illusion Island. Coming July the 28th. Fire Emblem Engage expansion pack. Mm-hmm. More than a blade, more Fire Emblem, you know? Every, every time. Every time. Harmony, Fall of Reverie reveal trailer. That happened. That interesting. Octopath 2, just around the corner. De- demo containing the game's opening hours is out now. Yeah, I need to download that. I have not done so. Uh, we love Katamori Reroll plus Royal Rivera Reverie out June second. Katamari people, mm-hmm. Matthew game you liked Sea of Stars. Seven yeah, I think studios uh, I, turn-based RPG. I think this one was my uh, my surprise of the show. This was the one that I didn't know anything about. That I went okay. It's probably like one of my top three things from the show, and kind of came out of nowhere for me. But I thought it looked really good. Surprise of the show. Um, free-to-play air hockey multiplayer game Omega Strikers launches on Nintendo Switch 27th of April. There it is go. a free-to-play game. It's out on, I think, everything already anyway. Okay. okay. Could, could be wrong, but um, I played it on the Steam Deck. So I know it's out on that. Okay. Maybe it's not out on console yet. I'm not sure. Right. Uh, okay. Um, Etrian Odyssey or- Origins Collection. There oh, yeah, it's that one. Okay, I was scrolling Nintendo, through remember, trying to remember which one that was. Nintendo finally announced a release date for the delayed Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp April yep. the 21st. Excited about that. Pre- pre-orders are back, back in it right now. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe has a new demo out on the eShop. The game launches February the 24th. And then some things that got most people excited, just gauging off reactions on Twitter and such. Uh, Nintendo Switch Online getting Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Mm -hmm. Lots of Mario Karts, lots of Zeldas. So I got, I downloaded it last night. Um, Basically because I want to play some Golden Sun. And mm-hmm. it is not out yet. There's only six games on the Game Boy Advance side of things. Um, that is not one of them. Um, I think really the only one that I'll play is the, if, if I get around to it, was the Superstar Saga, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That one's on there now. So it's very Mario heavy. Um, In retrospect, surprising, no Pokemon games. Not surprising. But besides the Pokemon trading card game. but Not surprising. When they have remakes, then... That's why you can't have you can't have both. I mean, they they made, the, you're they right. Were... The, the trading card game was there, I and mean, I didn't check to see if that was actually on launch or not. I didn't. Yeah, I can't reach my switch from where I'm at. So, um, massive announcement. Massive. massive. The original Metroid Prime remastered for Nintendo Switch, and it is out on the eShop. The physical version launches March third. So we finally mm-hmm. got Metroid Prime remastered. Slash, I think it's a little bit more than a remaster. Um, yeah, it looks really good. It's out now, and then yep. the crowd went wild. And it is forty dollars. It is forty dollars. It's sixty frames, guys, on the Switch. Can you believe That's that? That's less than a dollar a frame. It is. I mean, I've watched some yes. uh, little yes. clips of people playing this, and everybody seems to love it. They say it plays really well. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah. Uh, the only reason I didn't pick it up last night is because I've got I have I have too much to play right now. It will be it will be gotten soon. It will get gotten. It will get got. Um, no game, okay. but excited about that. I'm very curious to see how long it takes them to come out with the next one. Yeah, curious on like. I figured we would have heard something else about either the other games being remade or remastered. Mm-hmm. Or Metroid Prime 4 news, but 
Right. My assumption all along has been that all three of these will be remade or remastered before, I guess remastered is now what we, we know this, uh, before Prime 4 comes out. Yeah. Um, I think the only really other solution will be that 4 is the next game, and then they just remaster the other two whenever. I don't think they come out with a remaster of 2 and then 4 and then go back. That didn't make a lot of sense. So I'm curious mm-hmm. if either four is closer than we think and it's the next thing, or four is still a good ways away. And they got the other two to come. I'm thinking, and this is I'll say more about this later, but I'm thinking Metroid Prime Four might be a launch title for the Switch Two. I could sure. see that. I absolutely could see that. Yeah, come out with all these beforehand, but maybe not. They're not going to call it the Switch Two. It'll be called the the Flim Swatch. Flam. Swatch Two. Yeah. Um, game that we've seen before, this Rain Code, uh, yes. detective ish game. I don't remember we've seen it on Nintendo Directs before or something else, but we definitely yeah. seen it before. Best logo, oh. Bot and Kaidos one and two. Yep, Bot and back. And then mm-hmm. another surprise from level five Fantasy Life The Girl Who Steals Time comes out Animal this year Crossing, for Nintendo Switch. It looks like. Animal Crossing and Stardew had a baby, kind of. Yep. Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, New World of Steam. Professor Layton. Oh, that was a Professor Layton. Showed his face again, or at least yeah. his back and his face. Um, And then we got Wave 4 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster DLC. Adds mm-hmm. Birdo and a brand spanking new course in Yoshi's Island. Yes, a completely new course. So that was the Nintendo Direct. Um, mm-hmm. We have our thoughts again as on our Nintendo Direct reactions, but a day after, Matthew, how you, what are your thoughts on Yeah, on still, I thought it was decent. I mean, there's like five or six games in here that I'd be super interested to play. Um, so I, I thought it was good. And, and, it's just a lot of games. Like they didn't, they didn't, it was like what, 45 minutes long or so. Mm-hmm. And, and they, uh, you know, they didn't spend 10 minutes on anything. They, it was pretty, pretty quick. But, 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 so, uh, I thought it was good. Um, there's quite a few things in there I'm interested in. Uh, and then there was a couple things that they didn't really announce that came out yesterday. Like that baseball game. Remember they wish they showed the baseball thing for a bit. I bought yeah. that last night. It is 99 cents. So if you're interested in a baseball game, it's a dollar. If it sucks, it's a (laughs) dollar. So, I mean, like, yeah, there's a couple of those kind of things that uh, came out. Um, The Game Boy uh, Advance stuff is part of the expansion pass. And the Mm. regular Game Boy stuff is not, I believe. Strange. Yeah. But Nintendo is a strange company. So... I might be wrong on that, but I think that's correct. I think the two that involve that require the expansion is Game Boy Advance and uh, N64. Yeah. So for me, there was not a lot. Um, but just looking at the games, obviously we had Zelda, but we already knew Zelda was coming. We've mm-hmm. seen it a million times. We've seen mm-hmm. Pikmin before. The only, like I would say, big-ish new game that we didn't know was Metroid going in. I think it's a really big. Um, but for the other than that, it's a lot of B and C tier, not that they're going to be bad games or anything, but like, as far as, you know, there's no big first party AAA anything. So I think, like I said, during our reactions yesterday, I think part of this has to do with the last two directs we've, big directs we've gotten have been kind of similar, which is like, they show Zelda, they show Pikmin or whatever, they'll show some Splatoon, DLC, Mario Kart, whatever. But there's no, like, big bangers that we've come accustomed to. Like, there's no new Mario game, there's no Animal Crossing. Yeah. We didn't even get a Mario sports game this time around. Or Mario Party or nothing yeah. Mario. With the movie coming out, no. you thought we were getting something besides... Yeah, unless they have a dedicated but, one coming out. So, to me, this is all signs are pointing towards whatever the next Switch. Sure. Whatever the next Nintendo thing is going to be. Which I the, assume is going to be... It may not be called Switch 2. Maybe it's just going to be a Switch Pro. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe it's going to be some completely off the wall, but I would assume it's going to be. I mean, if I'm Nintendo, I'm making a second Switch, but it's just a beefier Switch that's backwards compatible. Sure. We're still a ways away from that, I think, though. I don't know if we are. I think I think earliest would be holiday of 24. I think earliest would be spring of 24. But I am... In this tiny podcast we do, in all of its glory, I am going to say I am 85% sure that we will have a new Switch in 2024. Okay. I'm not. I'm... Book it. 50, book 50 it, book it, book it. So for those of you that are interested or maybe not interested and don't know much about Metroid Prime, uh, just just looking on Metacritic, uh, there's only nine uh, user scores so far on the remastered for the Switch, and it is a 9.9 average. Pretty good. Uh, But if you go back and look at the original Metroid Prime, uh, it is sitting there at a 97 on Metacritic. So it is a phenomenal game it's really fun I, I don't know i super enjoy games that are like it has the shooter elements to it but it's not like playing halo or something shooter wise it's got some of that yeah. to it but it's it's a puzzle game it's in kind of the same way that zelda might be like a puzzle game kind of like it's you're shooting and doing stuff but it's in order to get something that will let you open this other door or whatever it's yeah. fun really good enjoyable Oh, uh, I mean, rumored that the fourth one is going to have multiplayer, though. So, who knows? Well, then it better be on the next Switch. If this is Switch Two, are they going to have to snap both hands when they do Nintendo Direct? You know. Well, then what if they have somebody on... that announces something that only has one arm? I can't snap on my left hand. If I can snap on my right hand. I think I'm better on my left hand than I am on my right. This is the kind of riveting stuff you get here on the lock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to our last story it's going to be a short mm-hmm. one here today um, Hogwarts Legacy I'm reading this from GameRant.com Hogwarts Legacy reaches a record breaking number of Twitch viewers um, Hogwarts Legacy is already breaking viewership records on Twitch based on the number of pre-orders alone the Avalanche software game has ex- was expected to do well and now the gaming world is starting to see how much interest Hogwarts Legacy actually garners um, where I'm just gonna go straight to the numbers. There's somewhere down here. Mm-hmm. Hogwarts Legacy is only available to those who have pre-ordered the deluxe edition. This has left plenty of fans in a position where they'd like to see the game. Blah 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 blah. Um, where's the numbers at? I thought it's on here somewhere. I can read. Yeah. I promise. It's also worth noting Hogwarts Legacy didn't break the all-time concurrent le- record, which belongs no. to League of Legends with 3.11 mm-hmm. million viewers. Um, right, right. Hogwarts That's... Legacy officially broke the Twitch record as the most watched single-player game with 1.3 million viewers on February the 7th. The last game that broke the record was Cyberpunk 2077 with 1.14 million in 2020. I think that was for a different reason. Uh, yes. <laughs> the incentive, <laughs> the incentive has been further increased by partnered streamers ha- who have drops enabled, offering five in-game items for those who watch two hours of Hogwarts Legacy streams in a three-week period. Nice. I think to me the most intriguing thing about this is that the game's not out until well, if you're listening to this today, uh, yeah, we're recording on Thursday. It technically, comes out Friday, and this is only people that spent fifteen extra dollars. To get the three x the seventy two hours of early access, and so yeah. and, and even with that, it's breaking records. So I'm I would imagine if you're uh, listening to this on Friday, if you went over to Twitch, it's probably even even more. I talked with our friend about this the other day, and I was like, I'm going to spend. It was, I think it was ten extra dollars or whatever, at least on PlayStation. I think it's fifteen. Eighty. Either way, I'm going to spend the extra extra buckaroos. To play it three days early, I don't really care about the other stuff. But mm-hmm. like games like NBA and Madden tend to do this as well, mm-hmm. where it's or and Call of Duty, like usually the big where it's like, hey, you can buy a thing for ten, fifteen, twenty dollars more and play it seventy two hours early. I think mm-hmm. that's the dumbest thing. I'm just gonna throw that out there now. It's super dumb. 
I think it makes more sense on those sports games and the Call of Duty and those kind of things than it does for this. Because this is a completely single player game. So there's no advantage other than you just get to play three days early. If you yeah. play FIFA three days early or Madden or whatever, like a week early, three, whatever it is, you're technically getting three days of a head start on like uh, your ultimate team or that kind of like, I get that a little bit more. I'm not saying it's, yeah. you should necessarily do it or whatever, but I, there's some value there in having a couple extra early days more so than just, yeah, and you'll get game. like your online currency things or whatever for mad. Yeah. It's, NBA. it's usually more than the $10 that you pay is what you get but extra. for this. It's literally like, we want you to give us $10 so you can play it three days early. That's the only reason. And it's just like, okay, well, that's bull crap, but I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Especially Where's considering your... games usually come out on a Tuesday, which is when mm-hmm. the deluxe version came out of this game. Yeah, You and I are both uh, kind of fans of the Hogwarts world and not Harry yeah. Potter fans. Uh, Correct. Not Harry fans Potter of the Hogwarts. Dumb. Not fans. I actually only was inter- interested in it like if if this was you play as harry potter and you play through the story i wouldn't buy this game i just wouldn't be interested um sure. but anyways my point being uh you and i are both just kind of fans of the world and so far it feels really cool i enjoy it what does your mm. wife think who is a massive harry potter fan? she's a massive harry potter fan so uh like you i've I made a deal with her one time years ago that I was going to watch all the movies, and I did. And I was mm-hmm. like, I'd call her after the movie, and she'd be like, what do you think? Was it the best thing ever? And I'd be like, no. I think Harry Potter as a character and his story is done. Like, if I would have grown up with him, watched him since day one sure. as a young person, I probably would think differently. But watching him as a, whatever I was then, 28 or 29, I was just like, I don't care. I don't care about this at all. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, the world, and we've been to the Universal Parks quite a bit. The mm-hmm. whole world of everything yes. is really cool and stuff like that. So being able to have your own character and all that stuff. So she brought it out to the living room and let her play through the tutorial section. And then she got to Hogwarts and she did She's like a pro gamer. She probably did that in two minutes. Two minutes. Well, she put it on story uh, difficulty. Oh, so that's helpful. That is helpful. It is helpful. She basically doesn't get hurt. She just has to do whatever. So it's all for me to be like, the thing comes up, like the prompt comes up where it tells her how to parry. And mm-hmm. she just doesn't, she's like, I don't care. I just want to just, just go. <laughs> and she's just like yeah. not parrying. And she's just, pow, pow, pow. And I was like, oh my God, I just want to say something, but I can't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so she played through all that and did the sorting hat thing. And then she stopped there. And then yesterday or last night I played and she watched me as I went to Hogsmeade and mm-hmm. did the whole Little, I walked through the school a little bit and then the, the whole Hog, Hogsmeade section. Hogsmeade and is the so, last thing that I've done. Yeah. So, and she's loved every bit of that. So, cool. She thinks it's super, super cool as a Harry Potter crazy fan. I don't know if she'll, she's not a gamer, so I don't know if she'll like play the game, um, but she'll watch me play the game for sure. Yeah. So, she's been really impressed. And when I move it out to our fancy, LG really OLED TV. It is like I was like, man, I can't. It's hard for me to bring it back in here on this monitor. You know, it just looks mm. so dang good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I love it so far. I like the world. Mm-hmm. Love live being in the world. The first like hour and a half of the game that I got, or once I got to the castle, mm-hmm. was just like walking around and mm-hmm. doing random stuff. Yeah, so. yep. Um, what I did not like was how far away Hogsmeade is. I was like, all right, we're going to this place. And I was like, how, how much walking are we going to have to do to get to this place? But I guess you can <laughs> fast travel from here on out. Yeah, and I assume at some point soon where we are, we'll get a broom and or. Because, like, oh, yeah, the true. other pre-order stuff, like the hippogriff thing mm-hmm. and the clothing and stuff, I don't have access to yet because I don't think Mm-mm. we're at that point or whatever. Correct, correct. So at some point when, like, the world opens up, I'm sure we'll get yes. that stuff and then we can just fly wherever we want to go. Yes. Which I'm very intrigued whole, too, because sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, I'm just saying like we haven't been able to fly and go into the open world yet, which is crazy to me. Which is like everything I've done right now. Like if you're like this is just the game, going to classes. Like the castle's massive. Hogsmeade is pretty big. Like if that was it, that would make sense. Like that's a big game already. So much to uh, do. That's 
that was the selling point for me. I was not 100% going to get this game new. And the selling point for me was hearing uh, people I don't know and people I do know all say, man, this game looks huge. I was like, yeah. that's exactly what I wanted to hear. I did not want to buy this game and be done in 30 hours. Um, I, I needed the, the yeah, big size of the game. So that's, that's a cool. lot. Mm-hmm. And review-wise, doing very well. Um, yeah. Let's see what it's at now. Metacritic wise, on Metacritic, if we're if we're going by the highest, highest possible, it's eighty nine percent for the Series X right now, which is the highest it is. Eighty five percent for uh, PlayStation Five, which is probably I mean they had the marketing rights, so I would assume most people are going to be playing on PS Five. Um, but still, 85% on PS5, 89 on uh, Xbox, and then 83 on PC because PC have having some problems. And I have a, t- uh, a text from Andrew who is under the weather today. Um, and he said, he said, for the record, I absolutely love Hogwarts, regardless of its technical issues. The only, It's the only game I've ever played that runs this bad, and I'm still playing it. LOL. So... There you go. It's fun well, to decide to keep going. There is one uh, review underneath uh, the PS5 Metacritic one that is a 50. So that's bringing it down some. And probably, I'm going to be honest, somebody doesn't know what the heck they're talking about. Because even if you don't care for this game, it's not a 50. Yeah, I've, so I read some of these reviews. when it, uh, I guess before the, the game came out, when the reviews started coming out. Um. And I think some people that are reviewing the game have zero ties to Harry Potter. Like, sure. zero. I've never been to the parks. I've never done nothing. Because they're like... Because the game doesn't do anything like... It's not groundbreaking in any way. But it's the world and being a part of the world that's the fun part. That's why I've told you and a couple other people, like, if I could pick... Like this is what if this was just Pokemon themed and not Harry Potter mm-hmm. themed, like it would be my dream game, where it's just like right. it's this fast open world, but it has to look this good and play this good too. I'm not talking about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, okay? It was open world, yeah, but it ran like doo doo no. butter. This doo-doo game does butter. look very very good. Yeah, it is. Great. But I mean, I'm just saying though, like if I, I'm trying to think of a reviewer that like if you played it and you're like this is not for me, then I don't think you go less than a seventy. Because yeah. I think I just don't I don't think the game is worse than that. You know what I mean? It's you just because it's not for you. Uh, like whoever that was that rated a fifty, I think they they that was out of spite, not out of actual uh, reviewing of a game. I mean, it could have been, but I mean, we've seen people re- review low games because there's so many people. Like there's sixty yeah. people that have re- reviewed this game. Zero negative reviews though. So there's that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's IGN, good. IGN was the first review that I saw, and this was before I pre-ordered it, because I was just right. waiting, because you never know. This is one of right. those games that, when mm-hmm. we were doing our uh, 2022 predictions, I wanted to predict that Hogwarts Legacy was going to be nominated for Game of the Year. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I, maybe my prediction was that it was going to win Game of the Year. I don't remember. It was going to be bold, and I ended up not doing it. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I was like, I'm too scared to do that, but I'm just going to wait. And the first review I saw was IGN that gave it a nine out of ten, and I was like, "Oh, buddy, hot dog!" That makes me excited. Yeah. So it's been good. It's been good so far. Like I said, it mm-hmm. doesn't do anything groundbreaking. Like it's an open world game. There's a lot of collect, like a lot, a lot of collectibles. There's going to be a lot of side missions. Mm-hmm. The story is going to be, you know, good, bad. I think most of the reviews are like the story's fine. Characters, great voice acting. Loving all the characters I've run into so far. I don't agree with the great voice acting part. I would say uh, for the main characters, great voice acting. Like the other students that are just like side missions, like help me find my gobstones. I'm like, okay. Yeah, there's some there's some accents that are in this game that are like crazy over the top. Yeah. But as far as like the main character goes, main characters go, like it's really good. So I'm excited to keep playing more. And this is it's going to sound blasphemous, but I'm going to say it. I still am like 20% into God of War. 
I don't know yeah. why. I just hadn't been able to go back to it. And I was like, this is going to be another open world game. And I was like, I need to beat God of War before Hogwarts comes out. So I sat down and played God of War for about 10 minutes. And I was like, I'm just not feeling it. Still not just not feeling this game. Mm-hmm. I want to know the story. I just don't want to play the game. Yeah, I I recently so just I was played like, the first one through again on yeah. a slower pace. Still 8 out of 10 to me. That's Which is still I wanna, good. I want to know the story, but then like, like it was, it's been so long since I've played. So when I came back in a couple of days ago to play, and I got into a big fight, I just got melted because it's like I don't remember any of the buttons or what's happening yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, but you say, and so I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I was like, screw it, I'm just going to play Hogwarts. We'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. I'm in Hogwarts, and I'm like, fully into it. Where it's like a mm-hmm. game that I want to play every day. So, yeah, that makes me excited. Yeah, I, that is good. I, I um. You say it's not too groundbreaking anyway. I do. I don't know. I feel like getting the spells right is really always was going to be a difficult challenge because anytime you have a world like that where you can just have like a bajillion spells, it, it, it makes it hard that makes it hard to not uh, to make a balance game. Basically, mm-hmm. uh, I feel like every spell could be overpowered and I'm looking through and you can get like you have your four main spells that you have that you start out with and then, you know, looks through. It looks like there's. I don't know, maybe 50, like 20 more, maybe you can get 15 more throughout the game. Oh, something like that. Yeah. And uh, that to me, like, I think that's really cool. Really cool way to do it because it, it you, you're going to always have to decide what four you want equipped, right? Basically. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. I think it's good. And I haven't opened up my, I haven't unlocked like the little talent tree stuff yet either. So mm-hmm. I, to see like, you know, what's what there, but. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, it's pretty good. Very beautiful. Anything? Game. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. It's pretty. I mean, it's been delayed mm-hmm. a whole bunch of times, which is, which has helped it. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Any. Anything else you want to talk about? Any final thoughts before we close this out? <sighs> Not too many, man. I'm. Uh, I'm excited to play a little bit more of that. Um. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of good games right now. A lot of good games. There is. Downloaded uh, the Evil Dead game on PlayStation. I have it on I Xbox, but it's free game of the game on PlayStation. And me and Colby mm-hmm. played it uh, through a couple times last night. Mm-hmm. Still good. Still a good game. Nice. And it's even better than this because it's free now for PlayStation people. Boom. Um. Other than that, it's yeah. It's going to be Hogwarts until the end of this month when, uh, well, Atomic Heart, which is going to be on Game Pass, which is very exciting. I don't know yes. if I'll play it immediately. Depends on how far into Hogwarts I am. But, and then, because Destiny Lightfall comes out at the end of this month, and that's right. how the cookie crumbles. And also, if you're listening to this and you're a Last of Us fan, now we you usually talk about The Last of Us a little bit TV show wise, but, um, because the Super Bowl is Sunday, the uh, next episode of The Last of Us is airing on Friday. So if you're listening to this when mm-hmm. this comes out on Friday and you're a Last of Us person, that episode comes out tonight. Because we don't want to get away in the Super Bowl. We don't want to screw up the numbers. Every week they're like, oh, it did better, it did better. And the Super Bowl could make that not happen. So I'm mm-hmm. excited that we get basically two episodes in a week. It's a fun time. That's true. And speaking of, uh, the most recent uh game added to game pass for pc i'm assuming probably for um xbox as well is madden 23 Ooh, sauce yeah. i think you have to have the ea play thing whatever but whatever that's it comes with it right yeah i think if you have game pass it comes with ea play yeah Alrighty, well, that is going to do it for us here. We want to thank you all for listening. New podcasts upload every Friday. Remember, we have our Nintendo Direct reactions, our live reactions up on our YouTube channel right now, which is youtube.com backslash at Logon Games. You can go there and hit that subscribe button. It would be grand. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But that is going to do it for us here. We will be with you all again. Oh, let's break it.